turns out the media will come after you if you're a Latino, female, or even black, so long as you're a Republican, that is. Let me provide you with some examples. Trump was crucified for going after illegals because you can't talk about immigrants that way. But it's okay to go after Marco Rubio, a Cuban-American, because he's, well, a Republican. And what about females? Speak out against Queen Hillary and you're a sexist. But it's quite all right to comment on Carly Fiorina, attack her record as CEO, and nitpick her physical attributes. In 2008, it was a sin to say anything negative about Barack Obama. He's black, he can't do that. But boy, it's okay to go after Herman Kang and now, of course, Ben Carson. But here's the silver lining. The attacks are so weak, even if they are true, I'd still take any of them over the resume builders credited to Miss Clinton. Trump has declared bankruptcy and tweeted mean things about Rosie O'Donnell. Rubio paid off student loans with money from a book deal, and his credit history isn't perfect. Carly Fiorina went from secretary to CEO, but was fired by the board of directors. And Ben Carson, he may or may not have had a scholarship from West Point, and his memoir may have some embellishments. So what? Libs, is that the best you got? Not exactly Woodward and Bernstein level journalism here. We could look into the Clinton binder of misadventures, but we aren't even allowed to look at her emails. From Whitewater to Monica's blue dress, tough choices in Benghazi, and of course the nonprofit Clinton Foundation. Why wake a sleeping bear, I guess? You can only mislead, distract, and lie to the American people for so long, and Republicans are used to this treatment. So bring it on. We aren't scared of you anymore. Go ahead and bubble wrap the Democrats. They're fragile, old, and Queen Hillary might melt if she gets a real question someday. So until then, those are my final thoughts. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tommy Laren, and send me your best Hillary jokes using hashtag Queen Hillary. Take care.